welcome back you beautiful people another video on the scoop today we are changing out the gearbox oil pointing there because the drain holes there and the rear differential fluid which is somewhere back underneath there i think you can see the drain holes i don't even know what i'm looking at but yeah um finally got the car booked in for mapping uh timing belt water pump thermostats that's all getting done we were thinking about doing it ourselves, but we I chose against it because it's kind of an important job at the time and I don't really want to mess it up. But that's getting done next week. And then we've got mapping booked in for May, May time, end of May. So we can start getting the car running right. It's not to make power or anything like that because I'll make power when I eventually do the turbo upgrade. It's literally just to sort out the fuel in because as we know, the AFRs are fucked. And it is so we can run the uh, intake pipe with the Mishimoto air intake on it. So we're going to get the diff oil changed and the gearbox oil changed today. So we know, at least with that aspect, we're running right and we don't blow gearboxes because we've got old fluid, which the Subarus are notorious for blowing their five-speed gearboxes. So we're going to jump straight into it. Maybe do the diff oil first. Maybe do the gearbox oil first. We'll let you know. But yeah. Let's jump straight into it. So we're going to start with the gearbox oil first. Subarus are so easy. There's actually a filling hole there. So you don't have to drain any fluid out and pump it back in. You can literally drain it out and pour straight in from the top. But you have to get the intercooler out of the way because it's right down in there underneath the intercooler. So let's get the intercooler off. It's literally two bolts there which connect straight to the turbo and a couple of clips that hold it on. And then one bolt to the chassis. Let's get it off. So with the intercooler off, you can see the gearbox and everything. It's quite easy access down here. And you can also see the filler hole with the dipstick. So all we have to do is pull the drain plug hole, pull the drain plug, sump plug, yeah, whatever you want to call it, plug? underneath the car. Uh, empty it, fill it back up. Super easy. How much do you put in? 3.5 litres. I think, I'll have to check. <coughs> I believe it's 3.5 litres the capacity of the gearbox because it's not only the gearbox, it's the front differential as well. Right. So when you're changing the gearbox oil, you're changing the diff oil as well. The same oil? The same oil, well. same oil. 75W90. Alright. GL5 is the exact spec. Yeah. If you are curious and you want to do this yourself. How interesting. But yeah, let's check the car up, get to the sump plug or drain plug, whatever you want to call it on a gearbox. I'm using NPM. 7590 GL5 oil as per the manufacturer's uh, specifications and you also need to get yourself a T70 star bolt because the drain plug on the front of the Subaru for some weird reason is a T70 because it suddenly thinks it's a German motor because <laughs> these cars are pretty much built, German cars are pretty much built with these but yeah, cars up on jacks what axle will stand under there for you safety freaks <laughs> now let's get under the car, find a drain plug Unwrap our drain pan and put some oil in. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah, just look it up. Oh, Hondas, what do you know? <laughs> now we're under the car. You can see the drain plug is there and it's a T70 bolt right at the bottom of the gearbox, which is a lot easier to get to. Oh, I didn't realize how easy it would be to resource on this car. I know, uh, yeah. yeah. You can yeah. see that it connects to the front drive shafts because it's also part of the uh, the transmission and LS, uh, not let me slip diffs, the fucking, what are they called? What, your diffs? Just diffs, yeah, just open, just open diffs. diffs. But yeah, let's crack the drain plug, get it draining into the, the pannings. Let's go. Am I on undo or do up? You sh Fuck me. Should be on undo, yeah, that's undo, mate. Fucking hell. Might need to break a bar, will Come on, you bitch. Oh. I'm gonna need the breaker bar. Oh, that's on tight. That is on so tight. You know that man, I could dug that up when he fucking last <laughs> done it. Don't even know if it's been done. Yeah, it might, yeah. Oh, I'm gonna slip. I need the fucking breaker bar. Okay. I need more. I need more. Okay, drain plug. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, I'm in four times zoom now. <laughs> Here we go. I don't know. Remove everything you don't want covered in oil. Try not to drop your drain plug in the oil. 
keep this unplugged, keep the plug pushed in to keep that oil pouring and then pull it. Oh, not that bad. Not that bad. So now that we've got that out, we're going to need to get the axle stand and the jack out, drop it so it's flat because we're going to have fluid sitting over the right hand side. Oh, and, it stinks. Oh, smells a bit funky. I wouldn't say it smells that bad, but... Oh, oh. It stinks. I mean, once you live with a French Bulldog, I don't think many <laughs> smells are much worse than there are, so... <laughs> trickling out, that's which... Hello! It's pretty cool trickling out like that. Oh, yeah, it's like a diamond, isn't it? It's like a spiral. Alright, All right, right, the car. Let's get her down. Played the Subaru for um, giving it a magnetic plug. I don't think Civics do. And, um... 490, 98. Not, nearly 99,000 miles, that's all of the filings there are. And for a Subaru 5 speed gearbox, that's pretty decent. I think that that's been taken out and cleaned though, because that oil is not dirty enough. Potentially. <laughs> Clean it all up. Nice. I'd be happy with that to be fair. Quite clean actually. Now the oil is drained, there's no more drips. Uh, we can remove the oil pan and uh, do the sump plug back up in the gearbox. Yeah. So, we've drained all of the fluid out of the gearbox and the front diff. So, and now, all we've got to do is bust three and a half litres in um, his oil hole. Yeah. It's in. That's the colour oil was meant to be. Yeah, I wouldn't say it was miles off that though. It was a little bit milky near the end. Oh, this one's got a fucking siphon thing in it. Spill it out a bit. Well, this is in tuning. Yeah, I see. I'm going to start. Put car on the floor because you want to get the right reading. We've put three and a half just just under three and a half liters in about 3.4 liters and the dipstick's reading just a, just a little tiny bit above full so if you're going to do this i recommend about 3.3 to reach full but should be fine all right let's get the intercooler back on and move to the rear and do the rear diff let's go job number two we are removing the diff oil from this one and filling up from this one here I suspect they are a 17 mil, but when Barry gives us a socket, we will determine that Ollie is correct with his eyes, and it is a 17 mil. Are both of them 17s? Oh, it's so crusty, this fucking cover, man. Like yeah, they're both 17s. They're That's both absolutely 17s. sound. They on top. Right, there you go. I don't know. I haven't tried cracking it yet. Oh, your fingers over the L. Don't let it slip. Fucking hell, yes, tight. Breaker bar? Yeah. Nice. Let's <laughs> get in there with a breaker bar. Breaker bar or a hammer? Look at that old gearbox oil. Oh, nice. It is a tad fruity as well. Down here. We might as well tap that as well. Breaker bar always gets everything loose. Is that tight? She tight. I lifted my whole entire exhaust up. Right, let's try it the other way. And you got it the other way. Yeah, I know. There we go. <clears throat> What's your fingers? <laughs> she loose. All right, let's get the drain plug off and into this dirty oil. If I remember correctly, yeah, old diff oil, yeah, is supposed to be rank. Yes. This so, is going to be very disgusting. Yeah, so I'll let you do the honours. Oh, cheers. Take the phone then. Don't turn it around. Now you just put the whole video. It's not going to come out straight away either, I don't think. Where's the extension go? I want to pull that back a little bit. Oh, it's loose. Yeah, I know it's loose. <laughs> Too bad, actually. Hmm. 
Magnetic, magnetic plug. Again, doesn't look bad. No, there's a few filings, but nothing too dramatic. Right. Oh, you can see it draining into there, it's black. <laughs> When we lower it, it's going to go down more than it's the front. Right, let's get it lowered. Drop it. Clean this plug up. Alrighty. Oh. Put the drain plug back in. We uh, already removed the filling one just above that. We've got a nice old suction pump. We've got most of the old oil left in the back of the diff. Obviously, dropped it. But to get it in there, suck a bit more out. Uh, rear diff takes around 0 0.7 litres. Is it the same story as like the Civic's gearbox, so you just pump it until it comes out the fill hole? Yeah, pretty much. Pump it into a fill until it comes out the fill hole. Yeah. When you start getting it come out the top of the, of the fill hole, yeah. uh, you fill. But it is around 0 0.7 litres. So we've still got half a litre left in the gearbox, one we did. And then I've got another one litre in here somewhere, just in case we need a bit more. There it is. Same stuff. But yeah, let's use our big old penis pump and get it back in there. Okay, let's just fill it until it's... Yeah, just bust it in until it starts coming out. Oh. Get him it to me. Give it to me. Bit more to go still. Oh. It's a really difficult pump it back in. Oh my goodness, this drain pipe fucking stinks. <laughs> right, so we are now coming out of the fill hole, so that means that the diff is full. And that Barry needs to get some tissues. I know. Oh. God, Badger's spilling that shit everywhere, mate. Huh? Shit. Oh. Done ski underneath here. Drain plug and fill plug are both back in. Doesn't appear to be any drips from either. Uh, this oil is nice and brown. <laughs> it's a shade of brown. It's fucking, stinks so bad but let's uh get the intercooler back on and then we can start her up and uh, grind some gears that's it right so yeah it might it, it will help uh the longevity of the gearbox as long as i drive it nicely which i drive this like a granddad so because it is the grocery grater at the end of the day i don't want to be smashing gears in me five speed and blow it i can't afford that but yeah, let's get the inner cooler back on. And uh, the only other job to do to left today, but we're not going to record it, is change this vac line on the uh, boost because I um to make a hole through the grommet. I um yeah, I bodged it, but oh anyway, right, it'll be all right. Yeah. But as I say, it's going in for mapping in May. Uh, we're not looking to make power. All this stuff we're doing in between is just to keep it like just to refresh all the fluids and everything. We're going to be doing oil filter and oil change. Are we? But yeah, we've seen that before. These the Subarus are self-changing oil though. Oh yeah, because it burns so much. Burns you don't have to, you don't have to change the oil. Because you have to fill up half a litre every thousand miles. Half a litre in fucking less than a thousand, like <laughs> 200. <laughs> but yeah, let's get the cooler back on and all the piping back in and give her a well.